They stole the board train that was destined to be robbed by the dueling dog gang. Little girls want outlaws, the good boys they can't stand. They want fun and adventure of life with an outlaw man. Little girls, they want outlaws, not buttons or bows. They want shootouts and the holdups that an outlaw man controls. Now Ned Buntline wrote the stories of the outlaws way out west Full of glamour and adventure Of men he thought he knew best The Daltons and the James Gang And old Bill Doolin too They rode across the pages Shooting their Commander. I don't see any need for this now that everybody's been introduced. Mr. Newcomb, just slow down a minute. We don't want anybody hurt. Let's see if we can't salvage what appears to be slim pickings. Folks, Bill Dolan. Bill Dolan! That's right. And you're, uh... Oh, well. Harley Hopkins. Great pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hopkins. And I can see by the way you brought all these good folks front and center that you're a born leader. Are you an honest man? Oh, I am that, if anything. Well, tell me, is there anything on this train that might be of interest to me and my men and others of our ilk? I swear, not a cent, Bill. What is this, a social? I don't think you are an honest man. Who's in charge here? Greg, George, oh. search those people. Hold it. We'll not be picking pockets now, will we? No, not yet. Red, George, check the last car. Dynamite Jake's checking it. It's done. Give me a hand, Red. What'd you find? Damn, this gear ever saw. Looks heavy. I'll take them anyway. We never leave empty handed. 
Here's supper. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Sorry for your trouble in your time. But then life's nothing but trouble in time, eh? Let's get moving. Shabby job. You're proud of yourself, Jokum? Oh, shut up. Let's get on out of here. You all just go riding off like that. But what about that fire? That fire on the tracks. How are we supposed to put it out? Piss on it. Well, let's round up those pigs. Hey, get this door shut. train goes another 50 miles. It'll leave you a thousand to go. You can sprint the last leg. We're working our way west. All right, back with the humans, you little mites. Let's go. I'm from the edge with me. What's this, a spa? You two take into the waters, are you? May I humbly request that you get back to work? But... but There'll be no but here. But, Mr. Morgan, she burned her hands. Oh. Now, it's insolence, is it? I mean, I have a full house out there, and now my scullery trash wish to become insolent, while me china just mounts up like the Tower of Babel. <laughs> you clumsy little witch, come here! Uh. Try me that! Be some wages lost here for sure if I don't miss my guess. Why, you contemptible little wench. I'll have my pay. You what? And don't you stand there looking like a moonstruck baboon either. I have it now. You owe me a week, a quarter a day, fair and square. Yeah, you listen to me. I'll teach you some ass. Ow! 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 What are you doing? You're fired! The man of you, you're fired! No, I ain't, you scum-sucking son of a bitch. I have resigned. Do you understand that? Out. Out, you ungrateful little wench. Out that door. I believe, sir, I shall depart through the front portal. Come, Jenny. Oh, no. You brats will not exit through the front of my establishment. There are people out there. I and Jenny are people. <laughs> I'll give you people. Daddy! You all, sir. If you wish to keep your nose. We shall go now, Jenny. 
Have your head high. busting up his kitchen like that. Good. I'm sick of this damn town anyway. It's time we got on west like we planned. How? What are we gonna do? I'll think of something. You always do. Like smoke. Ah, oh, come on. Think you got any money, cowboy? Well, well, well. What you two big city bells doing out this way? Heard you were standing still there, right? And we're just plumb out of breath getting here. <gasps> What's she doing? No. Look at that. I'd have lit this on your beard, Elrod, if you had one. Smoking puppy. I well, look at her. What's two big shots of the restaurant business doing today? Thought you supposed to be working. I resign. I've come to the conclusion my future lies elsewhere. Mine, too. I bet you all were fired. Of course, I I could use my influence out at the mighty RZ. Oh, Elrod, if you weren't so dumb and ugly, I wouldn't feel so sorry for you. I don't think I would talk. I wouldn't even ask you to dance. Oh, Elrod, you're such a man. You're loco as shit. Marry me, marry me. Out of all 12 of your children, and you can beat me with your kajus and your cups and your pay. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> What the hell is this? It's just the whole goddamn doing Dalton gang. Good day. Nice autumn afternoon. Don't let us stop you hard-working people from your product. Thought I knew some folks in these parts. Times do change. Bill! Bill! Corey! Bill Dillon! We'll be needing some things, Corey. And set up all these good men with some of your finest corn. Not that swill you sell the poor but honest. <laughs> Come on, lads, cold beer, let's go! First one's on me, I'm buying. That's news, you ain't never bought a drink in your life. Yes, uh, this here's my boy, Ned. Ned, this is Mr. Bill Doolin. I just wanted him to meet you, sir. Ned, well, you're looking fit. How'd you like to meet my partner, Mr. Dalton, if you've got the time? Come on, 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 Come on,
have friends around here, Corey. We've had warmer weapons. Well, so it goes. More and more people are coming in here every day. And the more people there are, the less they be friends, it seems. Sounds ass backwards. But what don't these days? Civilization's coming here, Bill. Be careful it don't get you. Civilization, huh? Well, let me tell you. Civilization is gonna have to get in line behind all those coming to get me. I got Heck Thomas, Chris Matson. And old Bill Tillman on my big old butt. Jeez. Well, I'll just open up here for you, Bill, and we get you something decent to drink. Corey, you, uh... You got some dead weight around here that can keep two eyes open after sundown? <laughs> Getting cautious in your old days. Not much law here yet. I haven't lived this long listening to stuff heaps. Mm. What about these young fools lollygagging this way? Hey, you dolts, here now. Mr. Dillon wants to talk to you. I'll cue it. You may know your butts from a waterhole? I think so, sir. You think so? Yes, sir. Well, for what I want, I guess you don't have to be too sure. But if you mess up, you find your butts full of double off. Now, let me tell you what I want. You, cover the road into town. You two boys cover the road out of town. You see any strangers, you hightail it back and let me know. Corey's opening up. Tell me we can get a man to drink. Uh, Corey? Jesus, that'll be a change. I'll be seeing you. Gonna stay and watch. Try to steal a kiss from you, little girl. I ain't a little girl. Take one step toward me again, and I'll kick you in your eggs. My wife. Your eggs? I don't like my eggs scrambled. No man. Over easy, but not scrambled. Uh-uh. Annie. Woo! Annie. Well, little Britchard. He must be the brains of this gang, seeing she's got all the brawn. <laughs> Doolin. Mr. Doolin, to you. You're really Mr. Doolin. Unfortunately, the one and only. Corey, give these two ladies a root beer and a sweet or two. There you are, little girl. Oh, boy, that's what I'd like. I don't get me one of those. What about you, Red? Oh, girl, take it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what? We'll have a whiskey. A what? Whiskey? Oh, you will, Red. Is crazy? <laughs> will it be neat or branch? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have whatever the boys are having. We ain't boys, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. Belly up to the bar. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Little Bridges. A toast. May you ride long and hard.
Did you? in the town and both of them are covered. I just don't know, Bill. I don't know. Yeah, he's up, Dalton. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Two dead brothers, one in the pen, and you say, ease up. Just pour it out, Lon. <laughs> hey, Corey, make sure we put a bag of jawbreakers in that, OK? Yeah. I'll give you a jawbreaker. Yeah. Crazy. Pennsylvania cow puncher don't get kidding to that boy. Oh, Any of you gentlemen have a smoke? Smoking and drinking. What's next? First, you just offer a piece to the wind. I've read all about you fellas. Through Mr. Ned Butline's literary works, I've followed all your deeds of daring, do and bravery. This is Ned Butline. Now, what the hell does he know about us? Everything, Bill. Everything. Mr. Doolan! Riders, Mr. Doolan! How many? Two I've seen. Th there's more. Let's move. Let's get the hell out of here. Sick. Come on, boys. Let's not waste any time. Jeez, oh, be fast. Hey, you'd make a good hour. I'm a U.S. Marshal Bill Tillman. And I wonder if any of you kind folks have uh, seen our role and what I said about a half a dozen gentlemen ride this way recently. Now, I'm not looking for an informer. Just a nod here and there will do. Well, let me tell you then why I'm here. I'm looking for Mr. Bill Doolin, to be exact. Now, come on, folks, he's no hero. He robs banks. And those banks is your money. Yeah, and who do you work for? The United States government. If you see uh, Mr. Doolin before I do, you can tell him that uh, I'm going to get him. I'm coming to get him, and get him I shall. As those amongst you who know me can believe. You're getting a little old, aren't you, Bill Tillman, to be running down the best? He may be the best. All the rest are dead.
But you can tell old Doolin that old Tillman is coming after him, and I'm gonna bury his calloused ass into the dirt. Is that clear? The horse is a uh, dead tired. So why don't you just take him to the corral? Now, is there a gentleman named Corey hereabouts? Here, sir. Anything I can do for you, Jim? Maybe. West, sail away, ladies, sail away. Sold my stuff and all the rest. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock them, Daniel? 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 All of our clothes into our trunk. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Find me a bar and drink me drunk. Sail away, ladies, sail away. Don't you rock them, Daniel? Don't you rock them, daddy, all day. Don't you rock them, daddy, all day. Don't you rock them, daddy, all day. When I find me an outlaw man, sail away, lady, sail away. Sail away out to another land. Sail away, lady, sail away. Don't you rock them, daddy, all day. 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 Those damn buzzards. We've got a pistol right here. Mm. Who'd you borrow the pistol from? A legacy for my dear dead daddy. The hero of the Confederate Army. Giant falsehood. Your daddy died from the consumption issues, mine died from drink. So be it. But a person can go a long way out here with a pistol. All this is wrong, Annie. It's too soon to tell what is right or wrong. Are you with me or not? I'll not be a white nigger slave woman my whole life long. I'd rather burn like a fire. Are you with me? I'm with you, Annie. But I'm hot, tired, and we're out of water. That will pass. We'll ride hard now. And live high later. Little Creek Newcomb will not lie to me. Doolin will take us in. Jenny? Huh? You ever do it? Do what? You know what. Yeah, I know what. And you know I have it, so why'd you ask? Sometimes people lie about stuff like that. Well, 
Neither have I. But I'm gonna do it with Bitter Creek Newcomb. Oh, Annie. It's in my mind. Like a hot coal. Really? You must not leave me. I ain't gonna leave you. Is... Is that... Stand clear. No. Offer some to the earth. Before you drink. She'll always provide. Spectacle. What do you boys make of that? <laughs> what you got there, Better Creek? I believe we've all met before. Ain't they them testy Guthrie strumpets? Put them in the shade, get them some water. What's this all about, Breed? They just want to consort with some low life. Well, the short shows well. Now, suppose you just take them back where you got them. You hear me, Breed? You got pig shit for brains. Two goddamn children. Now, what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. It used to be a gang. Yeah, a good one. But now it's just a bunch of bums on a run. You never said that to my brother Bob and Lip to tell it. You trying to imply, Mr. Newcomb, that you got better ideas? Robbing this train was your thought, and I let you have your way. Maybe we can steal more toys from tiny trains. That's your idea of brilliance! And under your brilliance, we've come to all this. I just got here. I, I just got here. But I tend to agree with Mr. Newcomb. These fellas and these surroundings are sore on the eyes and do not do justice to your reputation. You, Mr. Dynamite Dick, as I recall, you should either grow the beard or shave. What you got now is near disgusting in appearance. <laughs> <laughs> You girls look sorely beat. Red, make a place for them to rest. 
Use my bunk. something a little bit more solid in your guts. Annie! Catch! Jenny, it's the baseball! Where'd you get all this stuff? You mean you never heard of the great baseball train robbery? Hey, can you fellas play this game? Not enough of us. Rule book here says you gotta have nine. The way I remember seeing the game played back east, they used two teams. That's right. Well, I'll divide the team, and then I'll explain the particulars. What the hell's that? Goddamn first base. Well, the team Myself, upstream across from these louts. Hey, are you girls coming in? In front of all these people? Gentlemen, I believe the ladies would like to bathe. <laughs> I don't trust them. Make them close their eyes. Hell, I can't get most of them to keep them open. However, Mr. Dalton and I will become trees. You girls may just roll behind us. Get back, Raynor. No looking at the ladies. Mr. Waitman, Mr. Buck, get back. Get your ass back in there. Let me know when you're ready, girls. Hit 
Two days ride to Empire City. We'll stop off at Ingalls tonight, where it should be safe to leave the lady. This one's ready to go with, it seems to me. Okay. Stay down low. 
Tell me, how the hell did you know about this place? What's going on here? Anybody hurt? Uh -uh. Somebody fix up any. I'm afraid we got your girls into some trouble. But we'll get you out. She got us out of this one. That was a smart move with them cattle, Annie. How much longer do you figure we got? We're five minutes late already. Let's get moving. Back to Rockport. Put down that poor horse. That's your horse, Annie? Sort of. Yeah, you ride on out. I'll do what's got to be done. No, I'll do what must be done. Great support you gave Bill back there. Where'd you learn that from your brothers in Poppyville? Watch your mouth. I think you're losing it, Dolan. Christ, they know every move we make. Yeah, they sure as hell do. And that is exactly how my brothers got it. A goddamn week to go back to the water. Ah, for Christ's sake, Tom, and you and your you bloody... Where are you going, my bloody... bloody, bloody, bloody. All right, that's enough. Now, 
I say we lay up. Well, it says here, but Doolan has an ironclad discipline and an almost Oriental-like concentration. What the hell is this? Let me see that. The Fantastic Adventures of the Doolan Dalton Gang by Ned Buntline. Here, put my name in there. Let me see. Now, wait a minute. Big Bill Tillman. Bigger and possibly smarter than... The Agent Bill Doolan. Shit. Don't carry the bloody thing. Agent Bill Doolan, my ass. I'll show Ned Buttonline how my story ends. The Doolan Dalton Gang rides again. Yeah! What are you trying to prove? My daddy once told me about Saturday night. He said, go big or stay home. There be no pig shit on this one. Yeah. How can you be so sure about that? Well, I'll tell you, Bitter Creek. I got an almost oriental-like concentration. Well, what's the plan? Ah, huh? the plan. This time, it's going to be different. This time, You'll all be dressed to the nines, just as pretty as you please, in suits and ties. And we'll go strolling through the town. <laughs> like upright, honest citizens. <laughs> just out on a holiday. <laughs> Little Dickie Rayner. Yes, sir. I want you to go to Corey's for some more supplies. And whilst there, I want you to purchase two nice, snappy bonnets for the little girls. You, Red. You'll put your big mouth to use now. You'll go into the town. You'll spread the word. And come Thursday, Thursday next, we're going to take the train with the big mine payroll. Only we won't be there. Or Tillman. Tillman will. Better make all the papers back home. All the big papers back east. Ah, <laughs> that's the <laughs> And Bitter Creek, you, along with Whiteman, go to the old man and bring back some fresh horses. We'll want the finest. And the ladies. Ah, yes, the ladies. You'll be down at the creek, washing and pounding our clothes, so it'll be nice and clean for the occasion. You're all going to look just dandy. That stinking breed to scout ahead. Breed's half animal. Smell danger. Hey, Annie, you hear what they said about your precious bitter creek, huh? I wish to withdraw some money from your bank. Follow it. Everybody on the floor. No, 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 Dickie, no. Stop! You there. Out here. Move! Hey, you. Shake it. Try putting some green in the bag. This is, there's no... The, the bath, son. He's trying to tell you we don't have any sacks. Every bank has a sack. I swear. We're fresh out. Well, 
Did any of you guys bring a sack? Nobody brought a sack. All right. Off with your pants. What? Off with your pants. What? Get her alive. Got that goddamn thing to us right now. All right, son. Oh, put the money on the counter. Both drawers. Don't move. Nice work there, Junior. Now, let me have that watch. Oh, come on. Ooh, look at that. Got one just like Dalton. <laughs> I'll tie that boy. Here come the girls. I knew it. I knew that son of a bitch didn't like trains. Slicker than a greased pig. Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> Better stop there. Because that's as far as you're going to go. Who speaks? U.S. Marshal Bill Tillman. I've heard of you. And I've heard of you, too, sir. What now, sir? Well, if you're going to walk out of this town, you're going to have to get by me first. Everybody stay put. Stay low. Sit. Goddamn shooting gallery. Easy, George, easy. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to walk towards the middle of the street. Keep your hands up and keep them up high. Get him! <laughs> Dickie? Yeah. You just grazed my boot. That dumb asshole, George. He's dead. I want one. I want one. Wait a minute. I got enough dynamite to blow this whole goddamn town apart. Yes, yeah, so it was two. Julian, you got one minute to come out with your hands up, or I'm going to blow the back of the bank off. So far, you've done them two girls and George a great service. You got any moves left, old man? Cuddles. He's a deputy. No, we need him. Cut the rope. What's your name? Caps. Roger Caps. You a family man? Yeah. And you want to be selling shoes instead of playing pots you ain't suited for? Red! Tillman! We've got your Roger Caps. And I would not like to be him. Bill! The people want to see you hang. And I shall see that they do. Now give up, Bill! All things come to an end. You two stay put. Down. Breathe. Get him up. Get up. Right, get my guy. The rest of you men gather around here. Real close. He's our ticket to safety. Tillman, we're coming out. Hold your fire.
Give us a fast start or you'll lose your men. Can't do that, Bill. This ain't a game, no more. Lord, that's your big fat ass, Bill Tillman! What the hell's wrong with you, Bill Doolin? Shielding yourself with two little girls? Holding a man's life to protect your own? Do as they say, Bill. They know I'm the law. Bill, please. So be it. All right. Put your guns down and keep them down. Dynamite, Fraser, pick up George. Move. Annie, Jenny, turn up. Get on a damn horse. Out. And can see for miles out there, Tillman. I see one cloud of dust. Your capsule dies. You ain't gonna kill that man, Bill Doolin. That buck and dynamite will. One wrong move, I'm gonna send him home in an envelope. It's on your head, Bill. Morning. Icy fingers taking hold of me. My name is Death, none can excel. I hold the keys to heaven or hell. Mr. Caps, go now. You can have a nice walk. I want to get. Folks, it's sick and tired of your kind, Bill Doolin. You know that young fella at the bank? The teller? He thought he'd been on the job three months. You know, the only valuable he had was his watch. And your man Raylor took it off him. Why don't you leave us alone? Mr. Caps, wait a minute. Is that the man's watch, Dickie? I just want to be punctual. Give it to Mr. Caps. Give it to him. Dynamite. Yes. Give him $50. You can buy Mr. Tillman and his boys a drink. Or anyone else we've inconvenienced. Why don't you give him some for widows and orphans, too, while you're at it? Reed, the money is nothing. And I'm tired and I'm weary, and we've lost a good friend. So shut up! Mr. Dillon. Yes? Don't go back to Rockfort. They know about it now. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. I'm death, I come to claim your soul. Leave the body and I'll leave it cold. Drop the flesh off of your frame. The earth and worms both have a claim. What is this that I can see? My icy fingers taking hold of me. My name is Death, none can excel. I hold the keys to heaven or hell. We have some friends just up ahead. They we're all strung out about as far as we can go. The old man's hovel is nearby. Our damn weather can't last forever. 
Only three months. It's called the rainy season, Bill. Your two gals will probably catch your death of cold. You girls all right? It's so bad that George is dead, Bill. George was a good man. Those aren't good men up there. Well, they're good men, but... Well, they aren't good men, if you know what I... In the end, we ain't doing right. A good man does right. You and Annie should go your own way, as quick as we can fix it, little bitches. My name is Jenny. Jenny, I'm going to give you and Annie some money right now. And when we get through this night, you'll be off for something more fit. Jenny, got any advice for this old man? Never thought I'd live to see the day I couldn't get some free advice. This world of pissants and grovelers is about the only thing that people give each other with no strings attached. Yeah. So I started taking. Full of salt and a handful of memories. Let's see what's going on down there. talking about splitting up down there. But you can still be brave. And I'll follow you to the end, Bill. Mr. Dalton, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going back to politics in California, Bill. 
I don't know why the hell I ever left in the first place. I think I'll go on a vacation myself. Tell me, Breen. Them hot springs. Old Indian folks say they're rejuvenating. Any truth to that? So the legend goes. We know that... that all legends end in bullshit, don't they, Doolin? Well, I'll just try and see if this one works. You coming back? Yes, I'm coming back. And when I do, we'll all be of one mind now, won't we? I don't know. I'm with you, Bill Dolan. Mr. Dolan, to you, kid. Just gonna let him leave? Let him go. I think he's through. Yeah, we all through. Gladdens a man's soul to see a free man out for a morning ride. And where are you headed all alone now? Corey, I haven't lived this long, idly given my destination to stalk you. Yeah, but as you're living, Mr. Doolin, I hear you're a running man more than that is in these days. You're trying to tell me something, Corey? Me? Why, no, Mr. Doolin. What could I tell you? I'm only storekeep. True. Well, then. Top of the morning to you. Ah! Ah! Get up there! Killed. And I was raised with the Sioux. They had the great spirit, but they too were dying. But you have a you have a great spirit in your life. For for your world, you're as brave and strong as any of us. Go to that world of yours, Annie. Afternoon, gents. How's business? God's business is always good, my son. What line are you in? Banks, mostly. Investment. Same business you fellas are in. You ain't in business no more, Doolin. Hand me that towel, Bill.
spot. No hard feelings. It's been a grand chase. Pale stuff, just take a picture, son, and get it over with. Could you raise his eye? Please, Mr. Doolin. I'm sorry about this, Bill. Why don't you smile, Bill Doolin? First one to say scat. We gotta get him out. There's a hundred guns around him now, Annie. Isn't there something we can do? You go in there, bust him out. I read about it in the papers. Send you a postcard. Yeah, you get caught, you don't get hung. Yeah, time of year for me to hang. My pa's so busy with the harvest, he couldn't bury me for a while. Is it all over, Annie? Let's go home. It's all gone bad with killing and all. Told you I'd never leave you. But I'll leave you now. Doolin needs a friend. And I'll be it if you one way son of a bitches won't. As friends, you all suck ditch water. Child, life ain't one of your dime novels. If you don't live it, it ain't worth a dime anyway. Are you coming, Jenny? I'd rather go down with Bill Doolin than scatter like a bunch of cockroaches in the light. You coming, you blubbering little bitch? Don't you call me a bitch. You're about as tough as a toad's belly, little girl. Watch your mouth run like a wimpy weasel with the rest of the... <laughs> 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 Let's go. Let's you and me get Bill. Better take old Browning with you. She's packing some grub. Y'all real good and hard. You all ride long and low. And don't you 
come back and you sell all them papers. You're getting tired, Breed. Day. You were born crazy, nothing matters anyway. Please, Alfredson, we've got a customer in there. Pepper! You got Bill Dillon in this jail? Right behind two steel doors. Mm. Now you two get your little butts the hell out Look, of my way. See, she's, I mean, he's, he's got a gun that second. We're here to bust Bill Dillon out of jail. Now, how the hell are you going to do that? Well, Annie here's going to pull out this gun of hers, tell you to open those two steel doors, or she'll blow your brains out. If you say you don't believe her, she's just crazy enough, she might just blow your brains out. So, Annie, let's get on with this thing. Pull the gun out. And open those doors or I'll blow your brains What's out. What's going on here? I believe her. You will, then neither of you make a sound. For I'm in the soup so deep, I don't care what happens to me. And as you can see, I'm not very concerned with what's going to happen to you if you don't do what Annie says. Annie? Right! You're right! You open those doors now and lead us to Doolin. And if you do well, you'll be here to read something besides your obituary in tomorrow's... tomorrow's Empire City Herald Examiner. Now commence the springing of Bill Doolin. Get up, Bill. It's me and Jenny. Wake up, damn it. We ain't got all day. Wait, hold it. Get the guns. All right. Easy does it. Easy now. Okay. So, come to see old Doolin, have you? Bring him out, boy. Yo. 
there, Bill. Here they are. The last of the duel and the Alton gang. They come to bust you out. You're really scraping the barrel, ain't you? No. They're two of the best. Now, Bill Tillman here is a decent man, even though he is on the wrong side of the law. But he promised me that if he ever caught up with you two, he'd see you got a square deal. Ain't that right, Bill? We are my man of my word. Well, what are you going to do with us? Uh, we have a, the, um, uh, where's your family? Where's your father, Annie? Serving his third term in the United States Senate. Enough, Annie. We ain't got none, Marshal. Jenny's right. Well, then we may send you east to get the idea of being an outlaw out of your head. What's it gonna be like? Being in jail back east. Listen. You're young. Bill and me, we're old. What I'm trying to say is just don't waste your time with old cowboys. I'll never forget you two. You're the only ones that came. The gang! I think Dynamite came too. The dual dog gang! The dual dog gang! This way! That way! That way! The whole dual dog gang! Get out of here!
son of a bitch. They'll be all right. Get off! Ain't nothing but a couple little girls. I and Ginny are outlaws. And all of you low life scabby Pinkertons can kiss my ass. Where are you coming? No! Tells you. Come on, get up. Get up. All right now, all right now, all right. I know it's hard for an outlaw. Pay your line. Long and hard. Cattle and a war. 